As readers, you constantly ask yourself what you know and what you still need to find out as you read. The same thing is true of writers when writing individual sentences. A sentence is a complete thought. If you are left with questions, then maybe it isn't a complete sentence. Knowing the difference can help you become a better writer. Because it is such an important skill, we will work on questioning that has to be done to determine whether a cluster of words is just a phrase or a complete sentence. With enough practice, this questioning will become a habit or something you do automatically. Listen as I read a group of words and ask yourself two questions. Do I know the who or what? Do I know what he, it, she, or they did? If you can answer both questions, then you have a complete sentence. It may not be a great sentence, but it is a complete thought. Let's look at that first sentence. The lion with the long curly mane. Who or what did it? The lion did it. What did the lion do? I don't really know the answer to that one. So since I don't know the answer to the second one, is it a sentence or a phrase? This one's going to be a, just a phrase. Knowing the lion has a long curly mane helps me create a more complete picture in my mind, but it doesn't make it a complete thought. Now you're going to, on Nearpod, determine whether it's a sentence or a phrase. Remember to ask yourselves the question, who or what did it and what did it do? If you can't answer both of those without an I don't know, then it's a phrase. If you can answer both of those completely, it's a sentence. And remember that even if you can answer questions like where questions or how questions, that still doesn't make it a complete thought, even though that information can be valuable. 